to tie better flies faster with the Norvice fly tying system. Now I'd like to take a look at what's called a tube fly conversion for your Norvice. We're going to take the fine point jaws out that we just had in there, remove the rear hub. We'll replace it with the standard uh, Norvice hub. Put that O-ring back on and take the front off for fine point conversion. This is called a tube fly conversion. It'll consist of this front hub and with it you'll receive four separate collets. They're all of different sizes to handle different diameter tubes. We put our front hub and collet arrangement on there like so. Now here in North America most of the tube flies that we use are tied on this plastic tubing. Uh, this particular tube that I'm using here is eighth inch nylon which has become kind of a standard uh, especially here in the Northwest where I live. We'll take a little piece of that uh, tubing about like yay long and we're going to slip it onto this mandrel. Now there's a a variety of mandrels that will come with your Norvice, but nothing magic about it. It's just something to stiffen the tube so that it won't bend when we're tying flies. We insert the mandrel with the plastic tubing over it into the vise like so, using this little screw right here. That clamps the plastic to the mandrel so that it does not move. And you notice that when we spin the vise, how perfectly centered that section of nylon tubing is. It's this section of nylon tubing that actually becomes the shank of the hook, the area that we tie the fly on. Now, here's a pretty good example of a tube fly. This is the caliber of tube fly that we use uh, here where I live for salmon, especially out in salt water. Uh, I've had very good luck uh, fishing uh, things such as northern pike with these, as well as down in uh, Mexico and South America fishing for dorado. Uh, mahi mahi or uh, dolphin fish as we're called on the east coast. Wonderful fish on a fly rod. Anyhow, the advantage of these tube flies are several. One is they're fairly easy to cast. Uh, I'd like to run my leader just loose through the uh, tube and use a fairly small short shanked hook like so. These little short shanked hooks will never pull out of a fish, yet they're fairly small. We don't tear up the fish too bad and they're a whole lot easier to cast than those great big things that we use on a lot of our traditional blue water flies. I think for those of you that like to fish saltwater especially, you're going to really like tube flies.